Hi guys, it's Miss Deanna from Children's Ministry and I have a new book today to read for you. It's called Lizzie the Lioness and it's written by Lisa Bevere, illustrated by Christine Harris Jones. Wake up, let's go. The big lions were tired after a long night, but busy Lizzie, the littlest lion, could not hold still. Let's play, I'm hungry. Look, there's a beetle, let's chase it. Lizzie bolted into the day. Busy Lizzie bolted everywhere. Lizzie loved to hide low in the grasses and then pounce right on top of her friends. She climbed the tallest rock and watched her shadow as it stretched across the African plain. She thought, one day I will be big like the other lions. Just like you, lion cubs learn by playing. Lizzie loved to pretend she was a strong and brave lioness. Lizzie didn't want to just play brave. She wanted to be brave like everyone else. But because she was little, all she ever heard was, be careful, don't climb too high. An aunt warned, watch out for that crocodile, her older cousin yelled. Stay within the circle of our acacia trees, Lizzie, her mother purred. Lions live in a family group called prides. Each day, Lizzie's pride walked its land to make sure it was safe from baboons and hyenas. Busy Lizzie wanted to go too, but she had to stay behind to nap with Nana under the acacia trees because Lizzie was still too little. We will be back soon, her mother said, but soon never felt soon enough. I want to go, Lizzie grumbled to Nana. I'm tired of being little. Sometimes Lizzie napped, other times she didn't. There was just too much to explore. As she inched away, Nana would say, hold that tail up so I can see where you are at all times. Lizzie climbed trees, danced with butterflies, and played with the turtles that sunned themselves on the riverbank. She looks like she's having fun dancing with her butterflies. One day, a sound tickled Lizzie's ears. It was like the stream when the waters move swiftly after the rains, but different. It reminded her of the call of the night birds. The noise moved closer, but try as she might, Lizzie still couldn't see what made it. So she climbed a tree. She pulled down her tail and crept up on a limb to get a better look. Closer, closer, closer. Ah! The thin branch broke and Lizzie fell on the ground right in front of a small girl wrapped in bright colors. The mother gasped and the girl giggled. Lizzie scampered back to the safety of the tall grass. <gasps> Looked like Lizzie was scared. Day after day, Lizzie peered through the grass and watched the girl with her mother. They filled the air with the sound of their laughter and songs. She's little like me, thought Lizzie, and walks the land with her mother, just as one day I will walk with mine. One day, Lizzie heard a different sound, one that frightened her. It was crying. A dangerous troop of baboons surrounded her friend, and the girl's mother was nowhere in sight. Dear God, please help me, the girl prayed. Lizzie wanted to be brave and help, but she knew that baboons were bigger and more powerful than she was. In that moment, Lizzie realized, really hated being little. In the distance, she heard the pride returning. Even though Lizzie was too little to fight the baboons, she wasn't too little to ask for help. Swoosh, Lizzie ran through the tall, tall grass. Lizzie found her family under the acacia trees. The girl on the other side of the grass is my friend and the baboons are trying to take her. She needs our help, Lizzie cried out. As fast as the wind, the lions rushed through the grass and surprised the circle of angry baboons. Her father's mighty roar shook the jungle. Roar. The terrified baboons, baboons ran away and the girl was safe. Lizzie lay down next to her friend and the lion family made a circle around them. The little girl stopped crying, smiled and patted Lizzie's head. 
Even though you are the littlest lion, you are the answer to my prayer, she said. Lizzie licked her hand. The lion stayed with the pe until the people of the village found the girl. As they slipped away, Lizzie saw the mother pick up her daughter and hold her close. You were brave today, said Lizzie's mother. Brave? I wasn't brave. I didn't scare off the baboons, Lizzie said. You were also wise, father said gently. If you had tried to save the girl, the baboons would have hurt you too. You did the right thing for coming for us. As Lizzie snuggled close to her mother, her mother said, remember this, my little lion. Sometimes the bravest thing you can do is um, to ask for help. Wow. See friends, it's okay. We always should know that we can ask for help. And on the bottom here, it has this little prayer that says, Dear Heavenly Father, thank you that you make me wise and as bold as a lion. Give me the courage I need to do the right and brave things. In Jesus' name, amen. So friends, I pray that you guys will be brave like Lizzie and always remember to ask for help when you need it. God bless you and have a great day.